McFarlane does it to us again. Another vehicle, another big box, another gold label McFarlane store exclusive. Did you purchase this? I did. And yes, I did not want the Amazon one at all. I did not want to get no Amazon one round where I had to repaint it black because I didn't want no camel one. No, I don't want Bane having no having his own tumbler. Don't have the space for it. Don't even care for that. Bane can suck it. I don't even have that version of Bane in the front lines of the movie section. That Bane sits in the back. It's all about this. The tumbler and Lucius Fox. Lucius Fox has been the hit, but the tumbler has something I've always been waiting for. So, check out the front of the box. There goes the side. All right, from the Dark Knight. There goes the back of the box, as you can see, the cool stuff. Um, I had got this Friday. I had got this Friday, but I didn't have no time to do anything with it. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. And um, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Truthfully, to me, yes. Um, could have had, had more, of course. You know, the things don't light up. I don't care about sounds, but at least give me lights for the price. And the thing is so big that we're gonna have to, we're gonna literally have to take this to another area. But let me just see what I can do here. As this video is getting real cringy, I love this nothing here but this this is all your goods all your goods is inside here you can see the cards right there i can see lucius fox's hand so that's there and oh man yes the tumbler Yes, I'm gonna keep that plastic bag because I like to keep the dust off. I like the Batmobile in this, but look at, Jesus. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. This has to be a thumbnail. Hold on a second. Okay. This is beautiful. Oh man, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna get back to this. I'm probably gonna do that on the, um, take that onto the terrace, but. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do no editing. We're just going to free flow with this, with this one right here. Uh, you know, it's crazy because I was at work, too, when it came. So I wasn't even home. And luckily, one of my neighbors saw it. She put it. She took it into her apartment and looked out, looked out for it for me. It's good to have good neighbors. Okay, that's it. Okay, so... Let me um, stop this and open this, open these things up. Okay, y'all, so we got everything else in the package. We have the uh, the black box of truth. <laughs> well, it's a box, and it's just the accessories. All right, I'm definitely gonna do a repaint on that. But cool to have, you know. Have that in your display area. Of course, we got the trading card. Oh, got the trading card right there. Lucius Fox and Tumblr. Okay, yeah, can't can't read that because of the lighting, but that's okay. And what else came in that package was this remote. I guess that's a remote for the tumbler, right? The remote. I would have said cell phone, but it could be cell phone or remote, whatever. I'm gonna say this remote. Inside the hockey puck stand, you have two other hands, and these are regular hands. These hands don't have nothing inside of them. The Lucius Fox figure, he has something in his hands. So this, that's probably the cell phone. That's gotta be the cell phone. This looks more like the, um, wow, this is crazy. Lucius Fox, yeah, that looks more like the remote. As you can see, the remote in his hand. But this is wild. Look at him. Morgan Freeman. That is crazy. They did a great job. They did a great job. The hair, the face, the outfit, everything. This is great. 
And you know, that's not one of my favorite iterations of Batman, but... Excuse me. They did great. So, of course, the articulation is just like any other, you know, suited body. Uh, double jointed elbows. You got that. Arms go all the way up. Arms go down. Legs almost to a full split, or you can say that's a full split. <clears throat> Double jointed knees. I right. go forward. Now, of course, the torso. Let's go back to the torso. Torso, you're not getting much range in the motion, but you know he does go back. He goes forward. He goes back a little bit. He's an old man anyway, so you don't want him doing too much. But he has range. He has um swivel down in the lower and swivel in the upper even though the jacket is restricting he could do it all right so there you go his feet go about that that, that far up that far down but like i said this is a great looking dude this looks cool probably when we do the uh when we look over more of the tumbler uh so you know i gotta be careful with the arms arms okay seems a little stiff but all right we're good Sometimes these figures are scary. All right. Oh yeah, the head articulation. Yep. Yep. Up a little bit. Down that much. Okay. It's enough. It's the basics. Okay. The basics. But that that's a good looking figure. Like I said, I just can't. I can't get over it. The bow tie, son. Look at the bow tie. <laughs> All right. So that's enough for Morgan Freeman. That's enough for him. I can't even go on the terrace because of the, um, they playing music outside, but the tumbler. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, man. Okay, these two spin independently. Um, this back one, this back one is a whole piece. And you can see they're still spinning. That's one thing about McFarlane wheels, they keep on spinning and spinning and spinning. Beautiful. Beautiful. I might do something, I might do a little painting here. I might add some, um, some more weathering. It has enough weathering, but I might just add enough. The bottom is very basic, nothing on the bottom, okay? I know guaranteed Ink Drop Custom is going to be, he's going to be adding, uh, adding lights to this, no doubt. Somebody's going to come out with a, with a light pack. I'm not buying all that stuff, because after I didn't have it, you know, what happened with me, just like the um, other Batmobile, it's going to be collecting dust, but looking nice while collecting dust. Now, here in the front, got this little piece right here. Boom. And the cockpit don't look too bad. I can see a little computer, you know, the joystick for when, for when Batman's driving. You see that? There with a computer, joystick. That would probably go up and down, move to the side maybe, if the bat pod was there. It makes you wonder where the bat pod would really be when you see this design right here though. Like where's the bat pod really at, you know? But when you watch the movie, it was very, very relevant where the bat pod was. But this looks nice, and it's got, it's got heft to it. I like that part, it's got heft, it's got heft to it. Okay, yeah, it's a real beefy boy. The fins don't independently move or nothing, so just be careful with those. You might snap them off. Don't think that they're um, articulated. They're not. Alright. Let's get some figures inside. First up, we have Lucius Fox and Batman. Unmasked Batman. So he fits in there perfectly with the jetpack still on his back. And he's able to hold the joysticks with no problem. And right here we have maskless Batman and Todd McFarlane, Tally Mac himself, the man who made this tumbler. It wasn't in the movie, but he made this tumbler. It's gone. Right here we have mini games <laughs> and maskless Batman. They're taking a joy ride. Probably going to the Newburgh Toy Show or Zolo Con or something. But yeah, they go mini games. Right here we have two masses Batman. We have the Christian Bale Batman and we have the Michael Keaton Batman from the Flash movie. Just hanging out chilling with no masses on. And right here we have uh, massless Christian Bale with Storm Collectibles Reptile handling the computer. I guess he's um, taking him to the outworld or the realm. They're going to fight some bad guys. 
Yes, in my universe, Reptile is a good guy. <laughs> One of my personal favorites, we have Christian Bale Masters Batman with Michelangelo, my favorite turtle from the live action series, because those are the only turtles I collect, the live action NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't touch that. And now we're going to do some comparisons with the tumbler. Right there we have the tumbler next to the bat rod, which you can tell actually looks will look accurate, but um because the wheels look the same like the same type of wheels. But I still just wonder where would the bat pod really be hidden inside. Here's the bat pod next to well side by side next to the Fortnite ATV vehicle, which is also made for the seven inch vehicles. Seven inch figures, easier for me to say. Here we have the tumblers side by side next to uh, what's his name Lobo's motorcycle Space Hog. You can see the size in that. Space Hog is basically the same. And here we have the tumbler next to the Batmo Beast. As you can see, they are almost identical in size, not height, but size. Yes, beefy vehicles that take up lots of retail in your apartment. And finally, we have the tumbler side by side next to the original Batmobile Michael Keaton's. Batmobile, the 89 Batmobile, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And as you can see, the tumbler is not that much big. Well, it's not. It's basically almost the same. It's just wider. You know, it, it accommodates the two people. The original Batmobile should be um, a little bit wider too, because that's supposed to accommodate two people. But um, you know, for a big hulking tank thing, you would think that that would be a little bit bigger, but it's not. Do they both look good together? Hell yeah. I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you. On to the next one.